How does it look out there? Uh. <laughs> Terrible. You're allowed to swear on bicycletouringpro.com. <laughs> oh yeah. Because it's absolutely pissing down. Have a look at that. We seem to have a pattern of tipping down rain in the afternoon, in the morning when we're riding, and then sun coming out in the afternoon when we're off the bike. So yesterday was our longest day of our bike tour with Portugal Nature Trails. Today is the shortest day at less than, I think, 40 kilometers or so. Unfortunately, today it is pouring rain outside. Um, so we are going to try to get from our hotel, where we are now, to our next hotel in Sintra, Portugal, as quickly as we possibly can. to Sintra now. There's some really big, beautiful houses out here. Really big. That's the hotel, uh, Sintra Boutique. Sintra Boutique. Okay. Apparently there's a, uh, you might want to get that on video, Darren. There's a kind of, one of those there. Big hill up there. A big hill. <laughs> up yeah. the hotel. Okay. <laughs> Great. So something to look Awesome. There's so much to see here and we're here for two nights which is great um, so we have a chance to see some of it at least but man this place is really cool. So Kevin and I have separated just for a little bit. Kevin went to the bike shop to get his brakes fixed because he has hydraulic brakes and they aren't working right now. Um, and I just decided to walk around Sintra. Sorry, I'm looking down a lot because it's rocky and I have bike shoes on. But um, yeah, so I walked all the way up to the castle that's way on the hill here. And of course there's an entrance fee. I don't want to pay the fee without, I don't want to go in without Kevin. So I'm gonna hike down and hopefully Kevin wants to go in the castle uh, later. So I'm walking down the path back to the historical center of Sintra. There's a lot of people walking up and down this path going up to the castle. But when you get a moment to yourself, there's no one around, it's really nice.
So I just checked into my room at the Sintra Boutique Hotel. Really nice place in a perfect location, like right in the city center of Sintra. Um, like the shops and main tourist attractions are like practically right outside the door. So that's really nice. Um, Kevin is still going and working on his bike somewhere. I am going to take a shower and then I'm going to try to find a little market to get some food because I haven't eaten since this morning. Um, and then probably tonight Kevin and I will go out to dinner. So that's the plan. So I rode uh, about 6 k's yeah. out to the suburbs. Couldn't find the street anywhere. Nobody knew where the street was, so I went to some government department and they kind of... So I went to a little cafe and the bloke said, oh yeah, it's just around the corner and second on the right. So bike shop's tucked away, I get up there and the fellow, Rui, has a look and says, we're in big problems. Oh no. So he tries to phone, he phones the company, the company that makes the bike, the yeah. bikes. And they said, uh, you can only use their oil. He said, I've got no oil. Yeah. So he rings Miguel back in San Pedro, and Miguel says, I'll have to courier some oil up to you fast. <laughs> so it'll be there tomorrow. So in the meantime, this mechanic said, I've got to fiddle with them. So he fiddled and fiddled and pulled them apart, and pulled them and put them all back together, fixed them. Really? So suddenly we've got brakes. He fixed the problem. Mm. He, it was an adjustment problem when you fit them. You have to fit them in a particular way and then adjust them while they're on and then screw them up tight. So that's what he's done. Yeah. He's fixed the problem. So I've got more brakes than I'll ever need in a lifetime. Okay. I'll stop, I'll stop on a sixpence. That's good. So You scared me there for a moment. <laughs> the problem solved. <laughs> that's good. <All> right. <laughs> Have a, I could just about swim in this. This is enormous. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Cheers. Cheers. So we made it to Sintra. Sintra. Sintra, Portugal. Uh, Kevin got his bike fixed, we went to dinner, now we're going to the supermarket just to get a little snack food, and then we're going to call it a night. So it's been a good day, I think. No rain today, it which has been, been the best day. part. Yeah. Um, and tomorrow we're going to go on a bike ride with Antonio, Antonio, who is the owner of Portugal Nature Trails, and he'll give us a tour around the area here. Absolutely soaked right now. Totally soaked. It's raining like crazy.